hour. Our first guest, Jerome, says he has lived his entire life lying about his inability to read, but today he is bravely coming forward to tell his loved ones the truth. Uh, Jerome, I, again, that is very brave of you to come forward and say this. How have you gotten through life this far without being able to read? Well, it's, just, it's been very hard. Um, I've lied to um, everyone, including my whole family, all my life. And um, I did go to school, but it's very easy to um, pass through school and, you know, just... Well, that's the thing. In me reading this, this show, preparing for yeah. the show, it's, it's amazing how normal people like yourself, you seem like a highly educated, you speak very well. Yeah. We would never, ever know without yeah. you telling us yeah. that you couldn't read. Yeah. So through school, what, what age did you finish school or well, drop out? Well, if the truth be known, I, I left school in the 10th grade. 10th and, grade. Yeah. But and still in 10th grade, 9th grade, I'm having to do papers. I'm having yeah. to, to read novels. Right. How do you get by? But you really, you, you become the teacher's pet. Um, you you kind of skip school. You become the teacher's pet. You find friends and people that you're really close to to uh, do your work for you. How does it impact your life, being illiterate? Um really bad because we um i'm married now and i have a daughter and my wife she's my wife but she's like my best friend as well and she we we live in this small town that's very racist and we've been attacked severely our lives has been threatened and um i mean our doors almost been kicked in they written all over our home all that i don't know if i can say that on tv sorry but um just bad words on television i mean on on us and I can't get us out, and I keep telling my wife, well, you know, I, um, I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job, I'm out there filling out the applications, but I can't get the job that we really need. I have one, but I can't get the job we really need because... Are you I able to fill out the applications? I am to a certain extent, um, and if not, I have her do it, and she, I to always tell her that, you know what, you have better handwriting than I do. That's my biggest excuse with her. You have my better handwriting. And she's married to me, and she has no idea. She thinks that I have this bachelor's degree, but it's just so hard. And, or, or I'll use the excuse that, because um, we live in an all-white area, so I'll say that it's, it's all the white people's fault. They just won't give an African-American a job. And that's what I'll say, because I can't get past, you know... The I know there's two people you brought today, both your wife and your sister. Who are you more frightened to tell? It's equal, because... Um, I, I love my sister a lot, because that's my girl. Um, I love my sister, because it's just us left, because out of all my family... Well, I mean, we have a big family, but... A lot of my parents, it's just me and my sister left. And I love my wife, and I don't want her to be disappointed, but I guess it's kind of equal because I love them both, man. And I don't, uh, I don't, I'm scared to kind of embarrass my family like this. But, but you know, we are going to help you today. And, yeah. and there is, you know, oh, the answer God. to your problem. We can absolutely make sure that you have someone who helps you to learn to read. Um, are you ready to tell your wife? No, but yeah. <laughs> Get ready. We will support you. Okay. Here's your wife, Michelle. Michelle, come on out. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Hello. How long have you guys been married? Um, a little over a year. A little over a year. Well, you know he has something to tell you. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but... We all are. <laughs> Jerome? I'm really a woman. No. Uh, <laughs> I think I would have found that out by now. Um, I know you think that... Um, I know you've oh, probably been God. wondering why we um, have, have been probably moved or why I can't get a better job or stuff like that. Um, I guess I've been lying to you since way before we got married. Um, I never ever graduated high school. I never ever got my GED. And I never ever went to college and got no bachelor's degree, no psychology degree, nothing. Um, that's the reason why we're kind of um, stuck in the racist town that we're in because I can't really afford to get us out. And you work and we have the little baby now. But it's just, I really, it's so hard because I can't, I can't do it. And I, and I try a lot, man. I really do. 
And why you think I always have you, you know, hooking me up with the writing thing? And I'd be like, hey, do this for me, do this for me. And you'd be like, oh, okay, I understand. And you always do it. No question. I'm like, she's the only woman I know that don't question stuff. And so that's why I brought you to Ricky. Tell Ricky how. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know if you actually said the words. I, I can't read. I really can't read. I can read a little, and but I really cannot read. I cannot learn. I, I, well, maybe I can learn, but I cannot read. I cannot do it. I cannot. That's why you because you always say, oh, your handwriting is so much better, but I, I, I didn't. I can't Did you, spell were you like ashamed? I mean, obviously you were ashamed, but why didn't you think you could tell me? I don't care. I mean, you don't have to try and impress me or, I mean, I love you no matter what. It's not. Oh. 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 But you didn't have to lie to me about it. It oh. must be a big sort of sigh of relief for you to know that she loves you regardless. She's not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Oh. What was your greatest fear? Well, I didn't think I didn't think she would leave me. I, I maybe I thought that she would probably um, just be really embarrassed and shame because her family is very they're up there as well and they're successful people as well and so we both come from very successful families, and I, I just got kind of shifted at the and bottom. I, yeah, you just got passed along yeah. through school, and yeah. maybe you had some learning disability I early do, on. I, I believe I know that I. They used to say I have very, very bad dyslexia, and that's what they used to say. And there is times that I really cannot. I mean, I can write, but I cannot. Sometimes I would write my name so bad. It's pathetic. The, the letters are all yeah, it's jumbled just so up. mixed up, and I can't put things together. Well, there is someone else you wanted to tell here today. Are you ready to tell your sister? Mm -hmm. I know you're going to break her out anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, think of how uh, you, you're relieved yeah. that your wife yeah. still but loves you my, regardless. She's my baby sister. She's not going anywhere, I promise yeah. you. She is not going to go anywhere. She's only going to support you, okay? Ooh, yeah. Take a deep Meditate. breath. Okay. Here comes Crystal. Crystal, come on out. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi, Ricky. How you doing? Girl. You knew I'd be here, didn't you? <laughs> you know your brother has something to tell you. Do you have any idea what it might be? You no. look a little nervous. I am. <laughs> well, get ready. Go ahead. Oh, Crystal, um, I, um, went... I never, remember I used to always say when Vidity died that, um, oh, I got my bachelor's degree in psychology, I graduated, I got my GED, and I was like always just flirting, and I was just always just saying it a thousand times over, just saying, I got my bachelor's degree, I got my bachelor's degree. And there, I never, ever graduated from high school, which, you know, and I never got my GED, ever, when I supposed to. And I never, ever went to college and got my bachelor's degree in psychology at all. The reason being, I really cannot read, and I cannot do it. And it it's kind of embarrassing to me because you're my sister, and I, 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 I wanted you to kind of like have a big brother that was, you know, smart and successful, and that's why I went up to Detroit to, um, to tell you that I had graduated from uh, college and all that because... I want y'all to have you ashamed of, you know, of having a brother. I'm not the most masculine person in the world anyway, and I wasn't trying to have you um, <laughs> um, <laughs> as a dumb person, too. And and I feel dumb, but, man, I'm sorry for, like, lying, and I didn't want to embarrass him. It's okay. <laughs> but I just... <laughs> you don't have to be... So, did you did you have any idea that this was no. such a problem no. for him and tormenting him for his adult life? No. You, I would imagine you love him and you support him. Yeah, it's my brother. And you will be there for him because obviously we're going to be putting him in some sort of program to help him learn to oh. read. Oh. You will be there every step of the way. I, I would sure imagine. Will.
That's my brother. So. Jerome, you have taken the first step by just being here and admitting that you have a problem, and we are going to have